and that is what we're doing with our fingers, especially our B finger, because I see so many people, especially when they're playing C, they start doing this with the B finger. It starts going miles and miles and miles away. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to today's vlog. Hope you've had a great week. Sorry, it's been a week since I did a vlog. Had uh, my mum and dad came down last week. Uh, had great fun over Halloween with the children. Today is bonfire night here in the UK. Remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder, treason and plot. The 5th of November here in England particularly, it tends to be more celebrated in England than uh, I guess Wales and Scotland and Northern Ireland, is a celebration of, um, I guess celebration, it's kind of a bit of a gruesome celebration of the capture of Guy Fawkes uh, and his uh, co-conspirators under the Palace of Westminster as they tried to blow up Parliament before the state opening of Parliament killing the King and the rest of the Parliament parliamentary people uh, and they were captured, uh, well they were actually betrayed and uh, fessed up and uh, well there you go basically it's celebrated with bonfires and fireworks which I'm taking to the children to later on tonight but what I wanted to talk to you today is something I've been coming across time and time again whilst teaching recently and it's something that I think all of us could benefit from taking more time over and that is what we're doing with our fingers especially our B finger because I see so many people especially when they're playing C they start doing this with the B finger it starts going miles and miles and miles away from the actual key that you need to say and you've got to try and keep as you see in these slow-mo videos that I shot with some students today and over the weekend you've got to try and keep that B finger much closer to the actual B key when you're playing if I just play something here I'll stand up and show you Ah, when I'm trying to think about it, I can't play it. I need to relax and play it. Um, I'm trying to think about it too much to show you guys, but definitely it's really worthwhile. And do it in scale practice. Practicing scales at 60, always advocating that, as you've seen in previous vlogs, trying to go through and playing the scales slowly. Now, the book I was using there is this fantastic book by Rasha, Signal of Rasha, 158 Saxophone Exercises. I found this a great book, especially. On days like today where I haven't got a lot of time to practice and I'm rushing around, you hear me saying that a lot, um, it's a great little book, I'll link to it below, uh, you can get it on Amazon and I highly recommend it. It's more for advanced students, so I'd say you've got to be playing a few years before you start trying to tackle this book. Uh, it's a bit too complicated if you've only been playing a couple of years, uh, but definitely if you're kind of beyond, I'd say if you've been playing three or four years and you can play to a decent competent level, this book's got plenty of things to offer you. Um, I need to take a little trip to Cambridge to pick up some photographs now. So now I can't be accused of favouritism. Picture of my son, picture of my daughter, either side of the thing. So there you go. Uh, bonfire night, as I said before tonight. So uh, we're gonna head off over there in a little bit. We'll show you more of it. The fireworks in Cambridge. All right, okay. <laughs> Happy with our hot chocolates? Yeah? We've we'll got to see the fireworks now. Ames? Yeah? Mm -hmm. 
first. Yeah, finish your hot chocolate. Can I have a sip of my hot chocolate? Enjoying your Turkish food? Yeah. Mm. I'm not. 90 miles an hour. Well, thank you very much for watching today's vlog. We had a great time at the fireworks tonight, didn't we? Yeah? yeah. Uh, don't forget to check out my last vlog here. This is what I was up to this time last year. I'll see you really soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.